You're mad because he's Asian? Honey, they bring diseases. <laughs> no! No! Racist parents deny daughter's Asian fiance. It's not personal. Okay. We just want our daughter, Sarah, to marry someone like us. Oh, okay, fair, fair. Not dirty people like you. Damn! <laughs> I ain't never get heard of Asian get called dirty. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a first. I never heard them get hit with that type of stereotype. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, mom, that's not true. Not so <laughs> many boyfriends. So tell us more about this boyfriend before he gets here. Yeah. Yes, we want to know all about him. Okay, well, we met my freshman year in college. Oh, uh, okay. We were friends for years until he finally asked me out. In all honesty, Mom, we just hit it off. He's like my best friend. <laughs> kind of reminds me of when you tell me the stories about how you and Dad met. Uh, oh my gosh, sweetie. Um, he sounds like a keeper. So, what does he do? <laughs> how old is he? Or, you know what? What's his name for starters? Oh, yeah, that's a good start. Okay, well, that's a good start. His name is Sam. And he's 29 and Asian Sam. 29? Y'all met freshman year in college. I'ma just assume y'all went straight out of high school. So y'all like 18, 19. It took 10 years? Well damn! And he's starting his new job next week as a doctor over at Eisenhower Medical Center. Oh that a and that's doctor. stereotypical. Mm -hmm. Well look at you. Isn't that Our stereotypical? <laughs> hey, maybe you can get me a discount on my medication. <laughs> okay. I should probably just say it. Say what? Well, uh, we're not dating. We are engaged. Oh Wait, my what? god! Engaged. Oh my I'm god! Like, look at look it! At this thing. It's straight from Dollar Tree. Hey, love is love. You know what I'm saying? Don't let a ring determine how much you love somebody. Psych a lot, honey. Look at the size of this ring. I mean, is he a doctor or a drug dealer? Uh -huh. This thing is huge. I mean, honey, are you seeing this? All right. Now he's just making me look bad. <laughs> Honey, I am so happy for you. You're welcome. Wait. We both are. Thank you. Really, Dad? Ugh, I was a little nervous. I told Sam that we're a very traditional family, and he wanted to meet you first in person so he could get your permission to marry me. Are you kidding me? I know the daughter we raised. She wouldn't bring home a man with him being a-okay. Mm. So when is he getting here? He just messaged me. He's outside. I'm How y'all engaged and he hasn't met your parents yet? That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I want you to meet Sam. I'm sorry. Y'all hear the music settle in when he came in? Listen how the music settle in. It's like it's something crazy. <laughs> Mom, Like something Dad, bad just happened. I want you to meet Sam. Sam, these are my parents, Darren and Kelly. Mr. Smalls, Mrs. Smalls, nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you guys from Sarah. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. Honey, wait, wait, is this a friend or who is? Uh, no, dad, <laughs> this is my fiance. Uh, but he's Asian. <laughs> well, he is. I mean, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. He is Asian, right? Mom. What? I mean, somebody had to say it. Wait, but are you? No, no, no. No, what? This just isn't what we were expecting. We raised you better than this. Ah! Marriage is hard enough as is. You don't need to be mixing the cultures up like this. Oh, You guys Lord. were just saying how excited you were to meet him and now you're mad because he's Asian? Honey, they bring diseases. No! Oh my lord! Oh my lord! For the record, I'm Mongolian. I don't even know what that means. I take it you guys are referring to the whole pandemic thing. Oh. oh. Sam, isn't it? You seem like a nice person. But this is not going to work. It's not personal. We just want our daughter, Sarah. It's not personal. To marry someone like us. It's not personal. Not dirty people like you. Look, Sam, do us a favor. Give us a moment with our daughter. We'll let you know when you can come back in. Come no, back. no, no, Sam, stay here. Dad, you guys are being so disrespectful to Sam. I can't, I can't even believe that you're my parents right now. You're right, Dad, you did raise me better. 
because I would never judge someone based off of their ethnicity or culture. Mm. Sam is the most hardworking, intelligent, family-oriented, and most of all, loving person. Everything that you said you raised me to be. Mm. Now, me and Sam are gonna be across the street at the Hilton. If you guys wanna apologize, you can call me. It was nice meeting you guys. Have a good night. Why are you lying? Don't say that. Say it with your chest. I hated me me meeting you old fucks. How about that? Yeah, that's what you're supposed to say, but you know, his ball is small. Sir. Sarah, wait, 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 wait. I'm wait. telling you on the parents' side. Wait, wait. I am, am so sorry that you just had to go through that. I'm sorry it's too, okay. Sam. It's not a big deal. Yes, it is. Nigga called me dirty and said I spread diseases. I mean, it's kind of a big deal, especially if it's my wife's parents, but you know what? It's a big deal. That was so embarrassing. Sarah, really, it's okay. I Honestly, I've kind of gotten used to it mm. since all this pandemic started. Some people can be really ignorant. Yeah, some people. Not my parents. Babe, I love you. And it tears me apart to see them treat you like that. They didn't even give you a chance. Look, babe, it's okay. It doesn't change how I feel about you. I still love you. And we are still getting married. Ah. Do you still love me? Yes, I do. And yes, we're still getting married. Can I watch the tape? I just wish they were there to watch us get married. Give him time. They'll come around. Yeah! W love! W love! Mm. She better be calling to apologize or I don't want to hear it. A nigga like me not answering the phone. Hello? Sarah, are you with Sam? It's your dad. Your fiance's racist parents are passed out, right? You're a doctor. You can save them in 30 seconds, but they just called you dirty because you're Asian. Do you save them? Do you save them? A nigga like me letting them rot! <laughs> he fell over at the dinner table. I think he's having a heart attack. Karma. Is he okay? I don't know what's going on. Wait, why are you calling your daughter and not 911? We'll keep it playing. Miss Smalls, what is he doing? What happened? Um, he was feeling lightheaded, and then he said his arm felt funny. Mm. Is he still conscious? Yes, barely. He, he looks like he's going out. Mm. See if you can get him to swallow or chew an aspirin. It'll help keep the blood from clotting. Has he ever been prescribed medication for a heart attack? Yes, but I, I don't know what he takes. Look for something in his medicine cabinet that will be called nitroglycerin. Call 911. You're on our way. Please. Please. Please, uh, sorry. Please. Can I get a W Asian in chat? <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. In this situation, I would have been an L Negro. He's in here. He's in here. He, he, I don't know what happened. He just went out. How long has he been unconscious for? I don't know. Maybe a few minutes. Please. Please, please do something. Please do something. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just imagine him putting his head on his chest and then just start playing with his ears. He just he just goes down, he just goes down, he just starts. <laughs> Why he have a, does he have a barcode on his wrist? What the fuck he have a barcode on his wait, 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 am I tweaking? Two days later, said this nigga so Android. Doc, what's my diagnosis? Am I gonna die? No, not at all. They have all these, like, y'all see these comics up here? This is like, uh, the dog from Mickey Mouse. Not, uh, Goofy, but Goofy's dog. You see how fucking stupid that sounds? Why is a dog walking the dog? Anyways. I expect a full recovery. Damn it! It's good Mrs. Smalls gave you an aspirin right away. It helps prevent any kind of permanent bruising on your heart muscle. I recommend just taking it easy for the next eight weeks. We can't thank you enough, Sam. I mean, I can't imagine living in a world without my husband in it. 
And even though you're Asian, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little hard. It's gonna be a little rough at times. We 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 give you permission to marry our daughter. But damn, you're still Asian. Damn. But we still give you permission. <laughs> really? You saved his life. Mr. Asian. Sarah, do you mind giving us a minute alone with Sam? Sure. Sam. I know we called you very dirty, but it seems like you're one of the cleaner Asians. You know, you're, you're a clean Asian, which which is rare. Well, I, we appreciate you for being clean. We both want to apologize to you from the bottom of our hearts for the way we treated you the other day. I mean, it is, it's embarrassing looking back on yeah, it. Yeah, considering you almost lost you're the bottom of your heart. You're ignorant and judgmental and you're an amazing man with an amazing heart. Your heart kind of weak though. Honestly, Sam. Our family would be broken if it wasn't for you. I don't know how we could ever repay you for what you did. Well, let me marry your daughter? There's one way you guys could. Uh, stop it. I know where you're heading and we got you beat. Sam, I hear you're a traditional person, but we like to switch things up once in a while. So Sam, I know we've only known you a couple days, but I gotta tell you, my daughter knows how to pick them. Oh, yeah. Would you make us the happiest father and mother-in-law and marry our daughter? Of course I would. Oh. If Sam was black, he'd be like, my daughter knows how to pick them. Just like how your ancestors knew how to pick them. <laughs> Will you marry my daughter? <laughs> Welcome to the family. Thanks so much. You know, guys, part of the reason that I make these style of videos is because it seems like every morning I wake up to another headline or another news story of Asians being called dirty. When in reality, Asians are very clean. I got you, Lewis. I got you. You don't have to say no more.